The biggest overhaul of Alabama's prison system in decades is flying through a special session of the legislature, but there still are questions over how to pay for the plan. State Capitol reporter Jeff Sanders is covering the story tonight in Montgomery. Prison reform legislation is one step closer to passing out of the state house. Today, lawmakers gleam more insight into the use of COVID stimulus funding to help pay for it. The $1.3 billion prison construction project passed out of the Senate Finance and Taxation Committee by a vote of 11 to 2. But Democratic Senator Linda Coleman Madison of Birmingham wanted clarity on the use of $400 million in American Rescue Plan money. I want, I want the public to, to fully understand what we're trying to do because everybody complained about prisons as well, but now this has come up, so I really want them to, to understand. Republicans have maintained the use of the funding falls within the guidelines set forth by the Treasury Department under its loss revenue provision for states during the pandemic. We have got to move on this now. Republican Senator Greg Albritton of Atmore chairs the Finance and Taxation Committee. Timing is of the essence. We have the money, it's under the proper guidelines, it's under the proper methodologies, it's there. Kirk Fulford is the deputy director of the Legislative Services Agency. He briefed lawmakers following the vote. He says the state will still have $1.7 billion in pandemic relief money and that more money is coming next year. Plus, he says other states are using the funding in similar ways. Uh, Florida, for example, ran down hundreds of millions of dollars in lost revenue for capital projects, uh, colleges and universities, schools and, and other ones uh, as well. A state of Alaska addressed some correctional facility issues that they've got. The bills now head to the full Senate for debate and a vote. Legislative leaders still believe that this special session could be wrapped up by the end of the day on Friday. Reporting from the State House in Montgomery, Jeff Sanders, WKRG News 5.